Alright, well, i got to finish this ironing. Boy, I'd much rather be crafting. Oh, and there's a stain on here anyway. Oh, well. But wait, maybe I can craft. Maybe I'll just use this shirt as a pressing cloth. Why, here's my handy scissors. Let's take this lightweight t-shirt and put it to better use. Yep, that's much better as a press cloth. And what's great about it is you can see through to the ironing board below. So, let me just get out my iron-ons. Oh, and my instructions. Gotta read those. Okay, this looks easy enough. I'll cut out a piece here. All right, set down the pressing cloth and iron for 15 seconds. Let's count. No wiggling. It says keep it right there for 15 seconds. Okay, that should be enough. Now I've got one of these Donna Downey canvas pages and as you can see I cut out this transparency so it'll cut the dress form out of it. So I have the silhouette here and I'm going to take that, place my former t-shirt slash pressed cloth over the top and once again 15 seconds. Now just carefully remove the backing material. Go slowly. It's almost like in some spaces you'll see it look like it's a sticker where it just kind of removed from there. We go nice and slow. And of course make sure it's completely, completely cooled off before you do this step. And then you can catch all those fine details. Isn't that awesome? I'm telling you the truth, this is the first time I've ever done this. And it worked great! Now what you want you to notice that when you remove the backing, the adhesive backing, the liner or whatever from the iron-on, what you'll see is sort of an outline. You can see through this to the green. There's an outline left but it's removed everything. The stems and everything have come onto the project and there's just like an outline, almost as if it's a die cut sticker. So be prepared to see that, but everything is transferring to your project. As long as it's nice and cool when you go ahead and do the uh, slow peel back. It looks great. Okay, now I'm going to peel back on the canvas sheet. See this in real time. You know, I think even if a piece of it didn't come off, which so far it's been really, really good, what a great quality product, you could always cover that up with a flower or a gem or whatever. But I have to say, everything has come off of the sheet. Okay, as you can see from how I've laid out my design, I want to have this swirl going across. So I'm going to remove the dress and go ahead, place down the press cloth and do our 15 second heat up with no steam on the big swirl. Okay, I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to even those extremely thin lines and details come off so nicely.
Amazing. What a high quality product. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little hint of something something to liven it up. Spraying a little bit on the edge. And then in that negative space left over, I'm just going to go ahead and paint some of that in with a bit of glimmer mist, just for fun. Got a fleur de lis here. Just going to put a little bit of glimmer mist there in pink. I'm just going to scooch this over a little bit so I can see some of the design. And come in with a little bit of a nice blue. And just a little bit more. And hit it with a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of green. Or lemonade. Okay. And now, as you can see, I've added a little bit of embellishment to my project. I went ahead and adhered the uh, dress form with some Fabri-Tac and a small vine, some crystal swirls, and a canvas tag embellished with the words "my" and already printed on it journey. Thanks for watching.